All right, hopefully you can see me and hear me. I'm going to test out the new Urban Carry G2 holster. Um, made very well. They changed the design a little bit. Right out of the box, I really like the fact that I, when I put it on, I don't have to remove a belt. I I didn't have any problem not using a heavy-duty gun belt. The clasp is really strong, so you gotta really work it over. All right, first we're gonna test an FNS 9C. It disappears. Now, I wear slightly tighter pants. This wouldn't be what I'd wear with it if I wear cargoes. But I just wanted to demonstrate how much easier it pulls. So if I was to go to pull this, pulls right out. Whereas before I kept catching on my belt. Jam that in there again. Nice and deep. It's in there. Go to draw. First time. Comes out great. So now we're going to try another one here. Just because there's going to be people that have different size firearms. And try it with a Beretta PX4. Keep in mind, I'm not changing my holster as I'm doing this. It's just one, one size. Looped it down there, right? All right. Belt's tight. Stretch down. Go to draw. First time. Not a problem. All right. We're gonna go a little bit bigger. We're gonna go up to a an almost full size. This is a Sig P320. Sticks out a little bit more, but it's nice and seated in there. At the draw, first time. All right, now we're gonna try the biggest one I have. CZ75, or sorry, CZP07. Down at the draw, it's right there. Perfect. Comes off easy if you have to take it off at the end of the night. You know, take your whole belt off. I am not wearing a thick belt, it's just one of those mission belts that ratchet tight if you want them real tight. The thing that I did find this particular size was slightly too small for a SIG 2022 compact the magazine stuck out just a little bit and was getting caught but if you're not putting an extended mag on there it seems to work fantastic with just about darn near everything from subcompact to compact to near full size thanks guys excellent work